Hello my loves and welcome back to yet another Kundalini episode. Today I wanted to talk about this subject because I shared a TikTok post about Kundalini, about my experience and someone commented on my post saying like when will it stop (laughs) Um, and I totally felt her because this sort of energy is super intense, it's overwhelming, it is a lot, especially a lot if you haven't been on the spiritual journey and then this has happened to you. So I wanted to talk about this because I almost feel like the fact that she's saying like, when is this going to stop? People must be wondering the same thing. So I wanted to talk about this subject to kind of just share what I believe about the Kundalini and this sort of energy and when will it stop? Will it stop? Won't it stop? Like, let's talk about it. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you vibe, hit the bell button down below. There's 84% of people that watch my videos on my channel that don't subscribe and there's 15% that are subscribed. So if you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe the, to subscribe down below. I've got a whole extensive playlist of Kundalini episodes. So if you are interested in this kind of content, this is the place for you. If you're interested in lifestyle videos, I love all of that stuff. I love making vlogs. I've got all sorts of stuff on my channel. It's all organized, nice and arranged for you. So it's nice and easy to find everything. And also I just want to say thank you to everybody that are watching these videos. I am so unbelievably grateful for you all. Like I I literally cannot thank you enough. It's been so nice to be able to make these videos and people have resonance with what I'm talking about because I know how intense this energy is, how confusing it can be. And I myself found that YouTube was a really supportive platform for me when I was going through my full awakening, which happened a year and a half ago. So I, I just, I'm really, really glad that I can be the support system for you guys. And please like leave any comments down below if you have any questions regarding this video, if there's been any experience that you've had, I think it's really supportive for other people to also see too. This video is gonna kind of be a little bit of a free flow because there's some points that I wanna touch on. Like I'm gonna talk about the symptoms and then I'm also just gonna talk about the energy of Kundalini as a whole. and what I believe, whether I believe it is going to stop or whether I believe it isn't. To start off with, we'll talk about the symptoms. So will the Kundalini symptoms stop? So before I dive into this, I have got a whole video talking about all the symptoms, physical symptoms, mental symptoms that I experienced after my Kundalini awakening. Basically, the list of those symptoms, there were symptoms that I still experience a year and a half in and some that I don't experience at all now, things that I experienced right at the beginning and then they stopped. So will the Kundalini energy symptoms stop? I'm going to say it, it. this is a really tricky one. Yes and no. Symptoms that have stopped for me are like bliss states, like the moments of pure presence where like I've had like bliss states for like long extended periods of time and my mind is is quite a chattery mind I'm quite a busy person I almost don't realize how busy it is sometimes but when I had my kundalini awakening and I experienced the bliss states I was like wow this is what it's like for your mind to be silent and it would happen for really long periods of time and when it first happened it was like quite overwhelming because I was like oh my god I didn't know what I was like without my thoughts but then I realized that it's something to really enjoy, just really soak up in the moment because I had a friend tell me who's had a Kundalini awakening, they won't last forever, they won't last forever. And I was like, oh, okay, so I need to make sure I enjoy it then. Also things like deep realizations, like you can obviously have deep realizations about yourself because you are a lot more aware of yourself when you've had a Kundalini awakening. But like the deep realizations I'm talking about are like the super fast ones that I mentioned in that previous video that I talked about, really rapid flashes of images and then it was like I could figure out how to solve an issue within myself within like five minutes but it would happen so quickly that it was really like overwhelming for me to even process that doesn't happen anymore obviously I still have a realization about myself but in just like the normal speed like most normal people but when it first happened it was like very quick very rapid very fast there's also symptoms like getting pains and aches in your body so this kind of varies because Like I said in a previous video, again, that's within the playlist, that energy can get stored within certain areas of your body. So if you think about it in a chakra sense, so let's say in your solar plexus, you're getting a lot of pain there, then maybe there's something dense that's trapped there. The Kundalini is kind of trapped in that that space. So it needs to work its way through and out again. It's like targeting that area for that area to be healed, right? For you to pay attention to it so that you nurture it, you heal it. And it's really good to kind of study the chakras and, and figure out what chakra that's based on, what that means, the physical symptoms of that, and how you can support yourself in healing that chakra you can find so many things online about all of this stuff it's a good way to kind of target the areas but you can suffer with like a lot of pain and backache and in the shoulders and things like that that doesn't last forever for me it didn't last forever anyway but I know some people's can last for quite a long time I didn't experience it 
for me to last a long time and I don't think the people that I know personally that I've had them have had bad pain for long extended periods of time when I had the backache after mine it was sore for a while for a lot longer than I'm used to but it wasn't like extensive to the point where I was like I have to go to the hospital and get this fixed it was just like okay let's do some dancing let's like move the hips you know let's get the body moving to shift the energy out so with the intention of like wanting to shift the energy I would intentionally dance to shift the energy and like move my hips a lot because it was my lower back that was hurting so you know, these kind of symptoms, will it stop? Yes, it probably will. It probably will. If you choose to like really nurture it and really work on it, can't imagine it will stay there forever. The Kundalini likes to work up. It won't stay in one place. It will work its way through your body. Sleep habits, like that can change. Obviously, a lot of people can suffer with insomnia after a Kundalini awakening. Some people's sleep patterns will change. Sleep habits will change. But you know, I don't think that's something that can last forever. You can you can learn to create new habits in your life when it comes to that. So, and obviously support yourself if you have an insomnia to support yourself through all of that. Um, a lot of that will help, like practicing presence and things like that will really help. But you can also have an awakening again. So like when I first had my Kundalini awakening, I didn't just have that explosion once. It happened quite a few times over and over again across the next like three months when it first happened. That didn't last forever though. So will the Kundalini stop? Yes, the awakening side of things may stop. Like the explosion of, you know, sexual life force energy will stop. It can be that you, you, it stops suddenly and then you just don't get those, those like full explosion awakenings again, but it could happen like years down the line again. But yeah, these are the sort of symptoms that like, you know, they come in and then they go, they come and they go, or they just come in and then they go forever. So in that sense of when will it stop that in that sense it will it can like there's certain things that will stop so if we move on to like the kundalini energy as a whole will it stop will it ever stop i personally think no because i almost feel like if your kundalini has been awakened it's awakened it's exploded it's gone up like it's it's happened and from my experience personally like you don't look at life the same again your nervous system has had a complete reboot and you're kind of like shifting yourself back into alignment again so it's with you like your life is different after that personally you speak to anybody that's had a kundalini waking your life feels different it's just different afterwards so I personally think in that sense, no, because my sensitivity levels, if we're going to talk about like certain things that have happened, will it ever stop? My sensitivity levels are even more intense and they have been since. That doesn't seem to be shifting. I don't think it will ever shift. I think I'm just forever going to be this sensitive now, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's just a part of me. I have to accept it. But like as a whole with the energy of, will it stop? Will it stop? No, I don't think it will. Like it's, it's, it's with you now. It's happened. Like you have to accept that this is what's happened. And I don't feel like it's going to be intense like that the whole time. It will peak. There will be moments where it will peak and there'll be moments where it will dip. You know, there is a very known thing about the Kundalini is that you do go through the dark night of the soul after you have a kundalini awakening and some people don't have it right away some people have the dark night of the soul maybe a year later some people have it six months later but this is where you will have this amazing powerful awakening where you know you'll feel like the best you've ever felt in your life and then you'll go from feeling the worst you've ever felt and you can go down into a dip of depression and i did i definitely about six months after mine i went through a dark night of the soul and you know, you feel like you've gone completely backwards and it's kind of confusing and conflicting because you think I've just had this huge awakening and now I'm feeling like this. Like, what? What is this? (laughs) Why am I feeling like this? And it's so confusing and you kind of feel disconnected from source and you've been so connected and plugged into source during and prior to that. And then suddenly you just feel so disconnected to source and yourself. So, you know, it can peak and it can dip. And even though I had those you know, peaks and huge dip at the start. I think what happened with me is that once my peaks, peaks, peaks happened, so like I had like Kundalini awakening and then it happened again and it happened again and it was happening again quite a few few times across a couple of months. When they stopped, that's when it seemed like I went into the dark night of the soul. So all of this light has come into my body and then it's like it gets flooded with the darkness and and then you're seeing the truth in yourself and you're seeing all of these things about yourself and then 
you're seeing how things need to shift in your life and then you're also seeing stuff in other people and you're feeling sensitive and you don't feel completely like the same again then that balances out and then you might have a peak again and then you might drop again so I almost feel like it's always going to be with you it's always going to be within you it's just learning how to manage it learning how to manage it where you are grounded where your nervous system isn't overwhelmed where you learn to emotionally regulate better you learn to ground yourself you learn to be more present to not let the fear and the dark night of the soul like grasp you and and pull you down even more don't feed into it too much like let yourself feel all those all the feelings but don't feed into it don't go too deep in there where you get stuck and then you're stuck 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 and there's a whole process that everyone goes through everyone's different but you'll go through a whole process your dark night of the soul will be different to my dark night of the soul i think that the whole point of this video and the reason why i wanted to make this and the reason why i wanted to talk about this subject i'm so glad that this was a question that came up in one of my videos will this energy ever stop no but you can learn how to manage it there's ways in learning how to manage it. And I have created a whole separate video that's in the Kundalini playlist with different practices that helped support me through my Kundalini awakening. So please go check that video out. It will really support you. And they're not like your regular practices. These practices aren't just about, they're not like yoga, meditation. They are practices that I genuinely use myself to ground myself back into my body, to come back to present, to calm down my anxiety, calm down my fear because I had a lot of fear come up for me they really supported me so please if you feel like you need that support just go and watch that video I'll link it down below but it'll also be within the playlist there's quite a few things on there that are very very simple very very easy that you can you can do for yourself that are free you could do it at any time you could literally do it as soon as you click off this video so definitely lean on the practices to help calm down your nervous system to breathe to be present to be in the moment and that is going to help you find this awakening a lot more easier it's going to be very very supportive to help you enjoy it and just remembering that things may get hard before they get easier again you know you have this gorgeous enlightenment this beautiful experience and then things get really hard and then trusting that it's not going to be like that forever you're going to come out of the other side of it as long as you've got yourself to support yourself as long as you're taking care of yourself give yourself grace, take it easy, create space in your life, find time to be still, really simple things that you can do for yourself that can help support you through this because the kundalini energy is so overwhelming, it's so intense, it's so beautiful but it's so intense and, and we just have to be honest about it okay, like this is why I always say you know this energy isn't to be taken lightly, I, I it's not something that you should invoke, it's something that should happen when it happens personally i believe it should happen when it happens if it comes up it's a part of your purpose it's a part of your path it's a part of your journey in life number one thing to do take care of yourself overall give yourself grace be kind to yourself be calm with yourself try not to get yourself too worked up so all in all when will the kundalini energy stop personally i believe it won't ever stop <laughs> like it's not you're always gonna have this activated within you now just learn how to manage it learn how to regulate it learn how to live with it you have to accept that this has happened you have to just accept that this is part of your journey and remember it's a very sacred thing it's a very 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 sacred thing keep it sacred and really please 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 do take care of yourself please look after yourself and please make sure that you're practicing self-care because that is so important fill your cup up because your cup is going to feel all over the place overflowing empty like you're just going to feel all over the place so keep slowly filling your cup up come down to a place of presence come down to a place of grounding and see how you can manage the energy from there on out all right my loves thank you so much for watching this video again if you have made it to the end of this video i am so unbelievably grateful for you all i just want to help people so if i'm helping one person then i feel like i have achieved my goal and yeah i'm just beyond grateful for any support so please do leave any messages down in the comment section below if this has resonated if there's anything that you also want to share if you have any information about any of this please do leave it down below it can support other people that come across this video as well and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you vibe hit the bell button down below i post every single week so stay tuned i'm sending you so much love enjoy your day enjoy your evening whatever you're choosing to do bye Feel the